Hey everyone, this is uh, Magic Lover recording some Legacy one on one in the tournament practice room. Uh, playing a Living Wish toolbox style deck. Um, this is fine. Got a couple lands, an accelerant. I really only get burned if my Dryad Arbor gets killed right out of the gate. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope that does not happen. Knocking us down to one non green source. Please just cast Delver. Personal tutor. Show and tell. Huh. So I'm obviously going to wish for something ugly. So that he can't cast show and tell. Uh, but he might show and well, if he show and tell sneak attack, he doesn't have the mana, so that probably prevents his turn. Unfortunately, it does prevent me from accelerating. <laughs> so probably put a kink into his plans. Thought he was going to show and tell, drop a. City of Traders, or I forget the other one, but the other two mana does two damage to you, an Ancient Tomb, and then Show and Tell. But uh, I did pick this, and the reason it's in my sideboard is everyone goes for Emrakul. So if he wanted to just get this out of my hand and then race to another Show and Tell, if he puts Emrakul out now, we don't Legend rule out, but I get to attack first and wipe his board and kill him, so that's probably causing him much consternation. So I've got him off the show and tell route for now. I'll rub a little salt in there. Pondering, digging. I mean, most lists of show and tell. Maybe he's gonna, you know, show and tell omniscience, and then he doesn't care. Maybe he can put enough things in to absorb the, the hit, because it's only annihilator four. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. worth pinging him for one here. This isn't going to be a game measured in inches. And he's going to dig fast and furious here. See, I doubt Ulamog is even in his list. One of the reasons I put it on here. So that was about as good a response as I could have had to a turn one, you know, personal tutor for show and tell. So we'll throw this out. We'll drop Garrick. I did that intentionally pre-combat, because if he dazed it, I want to be able to pay for it. Uh, yes, I will put him in bolt range. Not that I think bolt's going to come out of show and tell, but you never know. Now we'll start chipping away. Swing for four next turn. And uh, unfortunately I had to burn that living wish on, uh, on something to answer show and tell. Which has kept me alive. Otherwise I'd have... Uh, uh, now here comes sneak attack probably. Well, okay. Probably omniscience. Yeah. So 
So he's probably going to find a way to deal with this, because even if he puts Emrakul in play... Ow. Yeah. I'm going to have to start putting some O-rings back in, so that when we show and tell, I can O-ring omniscience with the trigger. So let's see what he finds. Maybe he'll go Petals of Insight 20 times and then Storm Kill me. So I am just going to F6 at this point because I believe I'm 99% dead. Omniscience with 10 cards in hands and a Gristle Band in play with a Jace that hasn't been activated yet. So yeah, Burning Wish for Living Wish, Living Wish for Emrakul. Oh, no, for battles. So if you're unfamiliar with this combo, once omniscience is in play, you're not paying for anything, so you find a Burning Wish. Burning Wish goes to your board and finds petals. And since you don't have to pay the mana cost, you pretty much just keep recasting petals, building up your storm count, and finding the, uh, the cards you need, which is probably Grape Shot. So you just keep essentially scrying yourself. So I'll let him play out the combo, just uh, making sure he's got it in there. Doesn't cost me anything but a few seconds off his clock. I wouldn't be too ultra surprised if this gets banned soon, because it does pretty much just end the game on the spot. Especially if they draw seven and get to cast seven cards at minimum with no, no man issues. But I had a good answer. Just wasn't quite enough to deal with uh, that fast of a combo. wonder if he's actually cycling through it twice because he couldn't have built up the storm count. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, yeah he might have... might need to go through his deck uh, twice just to build up the storm count for Grape Shot. to spare the boring wait for a storm count. So he's finally stopped uh, pedaling. Puts out a Lotus Petal, Ponder's Brainstorm, Burning Wish for Grape Shot. I think the storm count is high enough, probably somewhere in the 30s. And I do want this to record, so I'm not going to uh, concede here. Uh, I lied. That's probably about 50 triggers, so I will save the time. I am going to want me 
some slime. No Norn is useless here. As is Loam. So he's probably not going to go on the show and tell. Yeah, I mean, my plan here is to, um, to have a slime or an emerical. I guess I can throw this in, drop one cord. work. So basically I'm sideboarding simply to put him off of uh, his show and tell play. Now he knows I'm ramping to fat. That is not going to get it done. That Yeah, it's close enough. So we'll give this a shot against something faster with a lot of burn, like Rug Delver. I wouldn't have kept that just because they'd kill the Dryad and I'd be dead in the water. But against this deck, which is plays somewhat similar to Spiral Tide, you know, sets up its hand and then goes off in one fell swoop, um, but actually using an attack phase sometimes. Uh, huh. don't think he's got any good graveyard recursion, so I don't have a problem blowing this now. Question is going to be, what's a name with Revoker? I'm pretty sure I'm going to name Gristlebrand. Ah, uh, bummer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too bad that's not a triggered ability from Omniscience, and I could name that. So if he finds something nasty, depending on how many cantrips he has in hand, my hope here is that he bricks and does not find... Uh, even if he finds a gristle brain, he can just swing with it and beat me out until I living wish for... Uh, Caracas or Metamorph or something, but I am hoping he does not find Emrakul. He's probably got three or four of them depending on his build. And one Emrakul equals uh, dead to us. So we'll see. It's an awful lot of filtering. Living Wish, Burning Wish for Living Wish for Emrakul. And that's a good game. I do like that deck. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.